Hello 3D printing friends, it's time once again for another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BV3D channel. For today's mod, I think we need to be a little more flexible about how we remove our prints. Stick around and I'll tell you what I mean. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. Thanks for sticking around. So when I said we needed to be more flexible about removing our prints, I'm talking about using a flexible build plate. In a previous episode, we installed the Creality C magnet magnetic build surface. And the Creality C magnet works reasonably well, but as I mentioned in that video, removing prints from it isn't as easy as on the Prusa i3 Mark III. And with the Creality C magnet, you take the magnetically backed print surface off the printer and then kind of peel it off the print. It works and it does what it says. It's removable, it's magnetic, and it's flexible. It's just more work to remove a print. With the Mark III's removable spring steel sheet with a PEI coating, you just have to take the spring steel sheet off the printer, flex it once or twice, and your prints pop right off. So that brings me to a new product that I'm testing. It's from a company called Wham Bam Systems located in Florida. Their website says they're a new company dedicated to improving the 3D printing experience through innovation. And this is their first product, the Wham Bam Flexible Build System. It shares elements of both the Creality C magnet and the Prusa Flex Plate. Like the Creality product, it uses an adhesively backed magnetic sheet attached to the heated bed. And like the Prusa product, it uses a spring steel sheet with an adhesively backed print surface. Now let's talk a minute about the build surface. Wham Bam Systems says it's a custom formulation of high temperature polymer designed to perform better than PEI. And they say all the components are designed to withstand continuous operation at 130 degrees C. It's compatible with PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, and other filament types providing stick without needing glue or hairspray or stuff like that. Now they call it PEX, and that's their trade name for it, and those initials don't stand for any chemical ingredients. I don't know what PEX really stands for, but if I had to guess, maybe it means Printer Enhancement Extreme. The X makes it sound cool. Now this is a pre-release product. Wham Bam is calling this a beta test, but it's more of a paid early access thing. Now to be clear, in exchange for being able to buy the product early, I bought this with my own funds, I'm testing the product and providing feedback. Now this benefits Wham Bam because they can be reasonably sure that the people who are getting the pre-release product understand the potential for problems and the possible need for further refinement. And it benefits testers such as myself because I get the opportunity to use and test the product and provide feedback to help make the product better. Well, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's open up the box and see what we get. And then we'll get this installed on our Monoprice Maker Select Plus and print something out. Okay, so here's the box from Wham Bam Systems. Let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Well, the first thing we have is the installation instructions. We'll set those aside for now. Removing the top layer of packing foam, we have another package. This appears to contain the pieces of the flexible build system. So it should be the magnetic base, the spring steel sheet, and the printing surface. And we'll come back to these in just a minute. Looks like we've got some shims or something and a couple of Wham Bam Systems stickers. Cool. All right, well, let's get this stuff cleared out of the way and then we can get into this other package. And here's that inner package, so let's see what this stuff looks like. We have the super shiny spring steel sheet. Let's set this stuff down. Here's the spring steel sheet. Quite flexible, springy. Here is the build surface. It's got an adhesive backing. And then here is the magnetic base. You know, I love that the corners on this are already notched, so that should perfectly fit on the bed of the Monoprice Maker Select Plus. Okay, it's time to get this installed. But before we can install it, we need to remove the existing build surface. Now, so far, the easiest way I've discovered to remove an adhesive-backed build surface is to heat the bed up to about 60 or 70 degrees C, and that loosens up the adhesive. And then start peeling up a corner with a scraper. It's just like peeling the price tag off something when you get it home. Go slow, and you can get the whole thing off without leaving any gunk behind. Now, I'll speed this up so we're not here all day. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to say that the sheet I'm removing is genuine build tech, and it's great about being removed without leaving any residue behind. 
It's also an awesome print surface, not gonna lie. But I'm testing the Creality C Magnet removable build surface on my other Maker Select Plus, so I need to remove this to install the Wham Bam flexible build system. All right, that's off. So now we need to clean the heated bed with some isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. This will remove any sticky residue that may have been left behind and get the heated bed ready for the magnetic base. So here's the Wham Bam Systems magnetic base. This gets installed directly on the heated bed and with those notched corners, it is a perfect fit. All right, well, let's get the backing peeled off the magnetic base and then we're gonna carefully install it on the heated bed. And we're gonna peel the backing off the magnetic base and I peeled it off all at once, but a better strategy might be to expose about an inch of the adhesive and work your way forward. And regardless, I did it all at once, so that's what I'm showing you. We'll start by getting the magnetic base aligned at the back of the heated bed. Accuracy is important and be aware that the adhesive is super sticky. Now, once you've got the back aligned and stuck in place, we'll start pressing it down a bit at a time, working back and forth, moving toward the front of the heated bed. Now, the point of this exercise is to prevent air bubbles from being trapped under the magnetic base. So just go back and forth, pressing down with your thumb until you have the whole thing stuck down. Make sure that the whole magnetic base is flat. Now, if you're off by a little bit like I was here with this one screw head, you can trim the magnetic base a little bit with a knife so it sits flush. All right, now we can put the flex plate on the magnetic base. It sticks really well to the base. <laughs> I just slid the printer trying to slide the flex plate. Now we're putting the flex plate on so it'll be held still while we put the print surface on. And let's get that print surface installed. Now we're only gonna expose about an inch of the adhesive at the back. And the plan is to stick it down at the back of the flex plate and work forward, pressing the print surface down the same way we did with the magnetic base. So let's get the print surface lined up with the back edge of the flex plate, and we'll use that same process that we used before. Press it down a little bit at a time, going back and forth, working forward. And with that done, now it's time for one of the most satisfying parts of the entire installation process, removing the protective film from the top of the print surface. Ah. All right, now we need to prepare the print surface for use, and we'll do this by lightly scuffing it up with some triple zero or quadruple zero steel wool and some isopropyl alcohol. Just scuff it up back and forth and in circular motions, and then when we're done, we're gonna wipe the surface down with a paper towel. Okay, now I wanna show you something. I was uh, off a little bit with the alignment when I installed the print surface, and so you can see it hangs over the edge right over here. It just wasn't fully lined up here on the back. And that's okay, though, because I know the printer can't print all the way to the edge. I'll probably trim that off later with an X-Acto. Well, let's get the flex plate on the printer, and then it's time to print. Ding, print's done. Okay, well that's still stuck on the build surface, so we'll give that a flex one direction and then the other and off it comes. Man, that's amazing. And you saw that was just super, super easy to remove. Oh yeah, check out that super smooth finish on that first layer. So nice. 
Okay, so that's the Wham Bam Flexible Build System. I'm going to continue testing this product and I'll be providing feedback to Wham Bam Systems if I run into any issues with it. And so far, I've only done three or four prints on the product, all in PLA. I'll be loading up some PETG and some TPU to see what kind of results I get with those filament types. Now, before I go, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Monoprice Mod Monday series. I've been doing these videos once a week for the past four or five months. If I'm not careful, I'm going to run out of mods to do on these printers. So what I plan to do is slow the production of the Mod Monday video down to every other week. And that'll give me time to catch my breath, and it'll also let me do more videos about just plain 3D printing. I want to do the occasional Tinkercad tutorial. I want to talk more about using the various slicer applications. I want to show off cool things that I've printed and do other fun stuff. And I may also shorten the series name just to Mod Mondays. I do have a Prusa Mark III, which apart from an alternate spool holder is completely stock. And I think it might want a little bit of love too. And that's about all the time we have for today's video. So that means it's time for me to say things like like, subscribe, and share, because those three things really do help the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing, you can help support the channel with a one-time micropayment. You could buy me a coffee or maybe drop a little something in the PayPal tip jar. The links for both are down in the description. Now, I also wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel. You're the reason I'm doing this. Now, some of you I know from Twitter or from chatting during Country 3D's almost continuous streaming, but many of you I don't know. But you like my videos enough to subscribe and watch, and that means a lot to me. So, anyway, to all of you, thank you for your support over the past six months that I've had this channel on the air. So, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the BB3D icon right over here and ring that bell to be notified when I release new videos. Now, speaking of videos, here's one YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Now, I'm going to go print something cool. You print something cool, too. I'll see you next time.